with a lot, but won't settle for one play. I don't need a lot, but I need me a model, but shawty gon' fuck up the wrong way. And I'm smoking this out of a playmaker piece. Hello buddy, my name is Pix and I'm back with another video. So what I'm gonna show in this video is how to make this frame transition you just seen on screen and I'm going over step by step on how to do it. And yeah, before the video starts, let's aim for 500 likes and if you enjoy this content, if you want more tutorials and whatever, make sure to subscribe and let's begin with the video. So here we are in Vegas Pro, what you want to do is go in the description, go to Google Drive, download the files and also click on the link that says do this first, do the steps first, come back here and you're good to go. Now what I've done over here is sync this clip to the song, just like that and what I'm gonna do right now is just go on the marker or you know on the kill, go 30 frames back, so double click on here, backspace minus 30, enter and then click S to cut it and you can apply the pixie sec impact on this clip. Now what we have to do is find the next beat after the kill. So it basically goes like this, this is the kill. And as you can see, this is like the next clap after the beat. So you can find a clap or a beat or whatever, but it sounds something like this. So I'm gonna, you know, end the, end the clip over here. And now what I'm gonna do is click M to mark it, then go 25 frames forward. So double click over here, backspace plus 25, and then click M again to mark it. Double click again over here, backspace plus 30 this time click enter click m to mark it and now you can drag in your second clip so here i have my second clip and just want to basically sync it up to the next beat so this looks fine to me as you can see it's far away which is good all we can do now is sync it up and boom as you can see synced up also make sure this is the beginning of the clip make sure you know on this last marker we made this is where it starts but for this clip just apply the impact again and once everything is nice, we can begin with a transition. So go to the first clip, go at the end, so click on the marker and then go a frame back. Boom, now we can see the image. What you want to do is click over here, it's like a save file. Click on that, make sure it's on JPEG and then click on save. Once it is saved, go to the second one, so this is where it begins, so go over here. Uh, click on this, save snapshot to file, click on that, then click save and boom, now we have image, uh, you know, first image and second image so what you want to do is make a new video track if you don't know how to do that just right click on here and insert video track then drag in your first image and make sure it's aligned like this like that and then your second image make sure it's aligned like this so first and second now what we can do is drag in our background so you can pick any background you want but i chose a space background so you can also download that in the description down below so here we have space what i'm gonna do is just cut it up like this and I'm gonna click U to ungroup this and remove the audio. Now I'm gonna replace it over here and just drag in simply like that. Now what we can do is apply the presets. So there are two types of transitions. There are tilt ones and as you know, the rotate ones. I'm gonna show how to use the tilt ones, but if you want, you can use the rotate ones as well. So boom, let's apply the tilt ones. So tilt A goes on the first image, you know, A1 and then B is the for the second one. So apply that to the second image. And if you've done everything correct, it should tilt just like that and no transition and then boom, goes back into the clip. So now what we have to do is apply a background preset to make it move. So here we have frame T background. I'm gonna apply that onto the background. And as you can see, the transition will move with the background, which is pretty cool. And now I'm gonna show you how you can customize this. So as you can see, it goes down, you know, it flips down. And if you wanted to flip up, uh, what you wanna do is do this. So go on the first image, go to warp transform. And as you can see, this one is animated by tilt. So go to the end, so the very end over here. And instead of 90, you're just gonna add a minus over here. So this will go the other direction. And then go to the second image. And then as you can see, it says minus, but you can just remove that basically. And as you can see what will happen, this will go up. And you know, it just change directions. And the same thing works for rotate. You can like change these values and make it go, you know, other ways. But yeah, once you have everything working, what you wanna do is go to the start of a transition and then go five frames back. One, two, three, four, five. M to mark it, just like that. Then go at the end and then go 10 frames forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Click M to mark it. And now we can render this out. So render from here to here. So highlight all this part, you know, from this marker to this marker then you can go to file render as and then before render make sure your project resolution matches the render resolution just like this or else it will bug then click ok 
and then you can name this whatever you want and click render then you can remove all of these files so remove these files and then shorten these to these lengths so you can you know put this in just like that and now what you want to do is just apply the presets so here we have b shakes 5 before and 10 after so i want to apply that onto this you know rendered file and as you can see it'll be shake do this and then go back which looks pretty nice and yeah that's about it that was a very simple tutorial so i hope you enjoyed that let me know what you think of it down in the description and yeah i'll see you later goodbye